Hi everyone, it's Rowan here from Synthstrom Audible. I'm showing you a new Deluge firmware feature today, which is um, in development as part of Deluge firmware version 2.1, which will be out late this year. So a little while away yet, but we've got a lot of new features coming. Here's one of them, waveform view. So first of all, now when we are scrolling through files in the file browser, you can see the waveform of each file. These are just little snares. You can see the actual waveform, the actual audio data right there. You can even zoom in on each one right down to the individual audio samples. That's not the main use of waveform view though. The main use is for editing sample start and end points. To illustrate this, I'm going to just quickly record a sample of my voice. Waveform. We are now looking at the actual audio data of my voice, as I just said, the word waveform. Waveform. As you can see, the play cursor, we can see what point it's actually at in that waveform as it plays through. We can now edit the sample start and end points. Start is shown here in green, end is shown in red. Start is being currently edited, as we can see by it blinking. We can move it to wherever we want, wherever we want say to cut out the silence at the start there. Waveform, waveform. There's some more silence hiding between these two columns, so we'll just zoom in a little bit more. As we can see, there's lots more silence in there we can cut out. We'll put the start over here. Waveform, waveform, waveform. So that's the sort of thing you might often want to do with um, samples you've recorded, or even some samples in libraries often have some silence at the start you need to get rid of. And we can also move the end point to chop off the silence at the end. Waveform. So it doesn't keep playing past there. Another thing you can do in waveform view is to add sample loop points. This is also brand new in the upcoming Deluge firmware version 2.1. We can add, say, a loop endpoint if we hold down the regular endpoint and then press where we want the loop endpoint to go. It shows up there, we're editing it now, and we can put it wherever we want. Let's put it around the end of the word wave. Wave, 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 waveform. So while I'm holding down the sound while it's sounding, uh, while it's um, b before we release. Wave, 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 wave. Just that one bit repeats, and then when I only when I release it, the play cursor and the audio playback gets through to the rest of the sample and is allowed to go all the way over here. Wave, 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 wave form. We can also have a loop start point. So if I zoom in a little bit, let's make the loop you know, start maybe around here. So that's, again, you just hold down where you, uh, you hold down the regular start point, then press where you want the loop start point to go, and now... Wave, 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 form. Wave, 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 form. So it starts playing where the green is, comes along here, then just loops from the end point only as far back as the loop start point. So it'll just loop in this zone right here continuously until we release, and it goes all the way to the rest of the audio. Wave, 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 form. And we can even edit these points while it's playing to sort of uh, make it as glitchy as we want.